And I'm noticing a lot of mats around this area all the way down the middle. These are areas clearly that are hidden when I'm trying to uh, moisturize and protect the style. It's so important to moisturize your hair correctly. So far it's like 35 minutes. I'm hoping I can be done within an hour and a half with this. Now what I'm going to do is apply a little moisture. I'm going to apply it mainly to the root at this point. Because I already know if they get on those ends, they don't want to curl up. So I'm just going to start with the root. Because my hair is fragile and I think my hair needs a good trim. So starting with the end is asking for trouble. The moisture will make its way down here. I'm going to separate it right quick. Just enough to put some twist in it. Add some more moisture along the middle. Add a little bit more oil too. Once you put that water on and that oil, you start to feel the strands wanting to come out. The ones that want to shed or come, come free, they will come out. Took my very sweet time. I'm just trying to stretch this as much as I can. And get that out the way. I'm gonna use a bobby pin because I have been for some reason running low on my hair clips. Let me work that water down it. Apply a little water, a little bit more water. And I'm purposely trying to stretch this as much as I can. I really want it to be over moisturized. is when I finish twisting and there's a longer section. It's like I just feel like there's hair that wants to come out or it's a, a hair strand trying to shed. Of course it was a knot. Just like I suspected. the jams I'm running to just from dry detangling is kind of crazy not to do this before I shampoo the fact that I just shampoo is kind of crazy 
or I'll just apply my conditioner because there's so many little knots happening. And this is on here that's been combed in the last couple of days from my last shampoo and conditioner and deep conditioning session. I don't know where this little thing came from. This is something I'm going to trim because it just doesn't want to break. Got a nice knot there. One of the worst so far. And it's weird because I feel like I just detangled this section. section. This is one of the toughest spots because it's where my hair is meets two textures. Okay, this is nice and moisturized at the root. So it pays to let moisture sit on the hair, kind of like what I've been doing on this side, kind of softening those areas that I always have issues with, like the middle of this, for instance. Right along the back, to the root. And what I'm gonna do is keep on keeping this into um, some type of Stretch state like a bantu knot or something. Then what? It's a perfect time just to get it wet. We finish this. Then I'm gonna take a break because it's been about an hour on one side, just dry the table and moisturize it. Somehow these little knots sneak up on me, but they're always in the same section. Toward the back, the middle back. Now I'm gonna add the castor oil.
that's the hair from that side, not bad. On one side of the head. Okay. Now I'm just trying to prep this side as much as I can. So that it's stretching those ends. And I can feel it already becoming softer. So hopefully this side goes even smoother because I will. So I'm learning, you know, if you let that moisture sit on there, especially in those problem areas, which is along the center and over here, along the back middle, there will be a lot less problems. So we'll see how this section goes. I'm really trying to pre-do this section. So all I have to do is, so it'll be easier and easier to separate. My hair likes a lot of product, but not heavy product. But it wants to, it needs to, it takes a lot to get moisturized. So I'm just kind of stretching this so that it'll be easy to do this. Because I'm going to take a break and then come on back. I'm just stretching it because I know the roots are the toughest part. And I'm going to almost do a fake twist to stretch it without pulling it because those ends are still like rag like they're raggedy looking or just rough and i'm just gonna do this so that when i come back to it hopefully it'll be easier than the left side and i'm just gonna wrap it up and come on back to this side and by tomorrow night definitely by sunday I will have this hair washed and then we'll be doing it all again. Just until I come back. Give it a break because if I do it now, I'm going to get antsy. Okay. 